How's it going? Nice to see you again for another beautiful morning. Welcome back for another beach talk. Now, a question I often ask is, how much does that cost? Now, this is not just with my FD hat on, but also just generally in life. And it comes from, I guess, not just the cost of buying the item, but how much do you have to earn to buy the item? If you get this right, the cost of the item, the true cost of the item, i.e. what you have to earn to buy it, can be a lot lower than if you get it wrong. Now let me explain. If I'm not really thinking about your living costs from one month to the next, but just say that you had to buy a one-off item like a kitchen or a holiday or a renovation or um, some other, a car, or some other life event. And if we just said the cost was say 10,000 pounds, it's not just what you fork out, the 10,000 you, you pay out for the item, but what did you have to earn? So for example, <clears throat> if you're on 40% tax band, just ignoring national insurance, you'll have to earn 16,667 pounds to buy the 10,000 pound item. If you are recently sold some shares and you've claimed entrepreneur's relief, which is a 10% tax rate, it's only gonna cost you 11,111 pounds. So it's quite a significant saving. And the other way, if you get this significantly wrong, and between 100 and 125,000 pounds is where you bought the 10,000 pound item, it's gonna cost you 25,000 pounds. So it's something to really think about. And we live in a world where tax evasion has never been a good thing, never been acceptable, accepted. We've got tax avoidance, which is up until say 2010 was kind of seen as a reasonably accepted tax planning strategy, whereas now it's socially unacceptable to be thinking of tax avoidance. But you can still think about tax planning. You can still think about tax efficiencies, but to get your hands on the money personally for you to, in this case, buy a 10,000 pound item, or just generally speaking, it's worth thinking about. You get this right and become more tax efficient, you're still playing by the rules, but the cost of the items, the cost of these life events, or even just the cost of living, if you get really tax efficient on it, can be significantly lower cost to you. It's worth having a think about. I know that's just a UK example, but if something's gonna cost you 11,000 pounds, or if you get it wrong, cost you 25,000 pounds, it's quite a big gap to think about. And also, I haven't even factored in, imagine you buy the item on some sort of you know, credit card, 18% APR, or some sort of um, installments, 36 months. So you're not even paying cash for the item, you're actually adding on financing costs. The true costs, add on to another 15% again. If you get it completely wrong, that 10,000 pound item is actually quite expensive. So have a think about it. I'd love to hear your comments below on this one. It's probably another subject or it's a subject that can be talked about in a lot more detail. Maybe another one for another beach talk. But for now, thanks for listening, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.